Hello friends, welcome to our channel Learn and Have Fun. Today we are here with a quiz on chapter light of class 10th. This quiz will help you prepare for the upcoming term 1 CBSE exams. The CBSE term 1 exams will be objective in nature, consisting of multiple choice questions, case based questions and questions on assertion reason. Let's begin our quiz. Question 1. A concave mirror cannot be used as and the options are A. A rear view mirror B. A dentist mirror C. A headlight reflector and D. A magnifying mirror And the correct answer is option A. A rear view mirror only convex mirrors are used as rear view mirrors. Question number 2. What is the relation between radius of curvature and focal length of a spherical mirror? And the options are A. R plus F equal to 2 B. F equal to 2 R C. R equal to 2 F and D. R into F equals to 2 And the correct answer is option C, R equal to 2F. Radius of curvature of a spherical mirror is twice the focal length. Question number 3, which mirror can give an erect and enlarged image of an object? And the options are A, plane mirror, B, concave mirror, C, convex mirror, D, rear view mirror. And the correct answer is option B, concave mirror. Out of these, enlarged image is only found by a concave mirror. Question number 4. Magnification produced by rear view mirror fitted in vehicle is? And the options are A, less than 1, B, equal to 1, C, more than 1, and D, can have any value. And the correct answer is option A is less than 1. Rear view mirror fitted in vehicles are actually convex mirrors which forms diminished image. Thus magnification is less than 1. Question number 5. Which of the following can make a parallel beam of light when light from a point source is incident on it. And the options are A. Concave mirror as well as concave lens. B. Two plane mirrors placed at 90 degree to each other. C. Concave mirror as well as convex lens. And D. Convex mirror as well as concave lens. The correct answer is option C, concave mirror as well as convex lens. When a point source is placed at the focus of concave mirror and convex lens, a parallel light beam is obtained. Question number 6. Under which of the following conditions a concave mirror can form an image on a screen larger than the actual object? And the options are A. When the object is kept at a distance equal to its radius of curvature. B. When object is kept at a distance less than its focal length. C. When object is placed between focus and center of curvature. And D. When object is kept at a distance greater than its radius of curvature. And the correct answer is option C when object is placed between focus and center of curvature. Question number 7. Rays from sun converge at a point 25 centimeter in front of a concave mirror where an object should be placed so that size of its image is equal to the size of the object. And the options are A. 25 cm in front of the mirror, B. 
50 cm in front of the mirror, C between 25 cm and 50 cm in front of the mirror and D more than 50 cm in front of the mirror. And the correct answer is option D. 50 cm in front of the mirror. Same size image is obtained when object is placed at center of curvature. This position corresponds to 50 cm from the mirror. Question number 8. A full length image of distant tall building can definitely be seen by using and the options are A. Plane mirror B. Concave mirror C. Concave mirror as well as plane mirror and D. Convex mirror And the correct answer is option D. Convex mirror Image formed by a convex mirror is diminished and it covers a wider field of view. Thus, a tall building can definitely be seen using a convex mirror. Question number 9. Which one of the following is a correct statement? And the options are A. Real image can be obtained by a convex mirror. B. Real image cannot be projected on a screen. C. The erect image obtained by a concave mirror is real in nature. And D. Virtual image can be obtained by a concave mirror. And the correct answer is option D. Virtual image can be obtained by a concave mirror. When an object is placed at a distance less than the focal length of a concave mirror, it forms a virtual and erect image behind the mirror. Question number 10. The main advantage of using a convex mirror as a rear view mirror in vehicle is? And the options are A. It forms a smaller field of view of the traffic behind the vehicle. B. It provides the beautiful view of the traffic behind the vehicle. C. It provides a wider field of view of the traffic behind the vehicle. And D. It shows the object in the mirror which are closer than they appear. And the correct answer is option C. It provides a wider field of view of the traffic behind the mirror. A convex mirror provides a wider field of view. That's why it is used as a rear view mirror. Question number 11. A student conducts an activity using a concave mirror with focal length of 10 cm. He placed the object 15 cm from the mirror. Where is the image likely to form? And the options are A. At 10 cm behind the mirror. B. At 30 cm behind the mirror. C. At 30 cm in front of the mirror. And D. At 10 cm in front of the mirror. And the correct answer is at 30 cm in front of the mirror. Focal length of concave mirror is minus 10 cm. Object distance u is minus 15 cm. Using mirror formula, the values of v comes minus 30 cm, which means 30 cm in front of the mirror. Question number 12. If the image of an object is erect, small and virtual, the mirror is? And the options are A. Concave mirror B. Convex mirror C. Dentist mirror and D. Plane mirror And the correct answer is convex mirror. Only convex mirror forms a virtual image which is diminished that is smaller than the object. Question number 13. Convex mirror has a reflecting surface and the options are A. Outwards and its center of curvature is behind the mirror. B. Inwards and its center of curvature is behind the mirror. C. Outwards and its center of curvature is in front of the mirror. And D. Inwards and its center of curvature is in front of the mirror. And the correct answer is option A. Outwards and its center of curvature is behind the mirror. 
convex mirror has a surface which is bulging out and its focus and center of curvature lies behind the mirror. Question number 14. Focal length of a spherical mirror is 12.5 cm. Its radius of curvature will be and the options are A. 25 cm B. 12.5 cm C. 6.25 cm and D. 20 cm And the correct answer is option A, 25 centimeter. Radius of curvature is twice the focal length. Question number 15. A student wants to project the image of the candle flame on a screen 80 centimeter in front of a mirror by keeping the candle flame at a distance of 30 centimeter from its pole. Find the distance between the object and the image. And the options are A. 80 cm, B 30 cm, C 110 cm and D 50 cm. The correct answer is option D 50 cm. Question number 16. What is the minimum distance between an object and its real image in case of a Concave mirror and the options are A. Infinity B. Equal to the focal length of the concave mirror C. Zero and D. Equal to twice the focal length of the concave mirror and the correct answer is option C. Zero When object is at the center of curvature Image is also obtained at the same position. Thus, distance between the object and its image is zero. Question number 17. The magnification produced by a spherical mirror is minus 1 by 3. Analyze this value. State the type of mirror and the nature and relative size of the image. The options are A. Convex mirror, virtual, erect and diminished image. B. Concave mirror, real, inverted and diminished image. C. Concave mirror, real, inverted and enlarged image. And D. Convex mirror, real, inverted and diminished image. And the correct answer is option B. Concave mirror, real, inverted and diminished image. The value of magnification is negative. This indicates that the image is real and inverted. The value 1 by 3 is less than 1 which indicates that image is diminished. Such an image can be obtained from a concave mirror. Question number 18. The image of an object formed by a mirror is real, inverted and is of magnification 1. If the image is at a distance of 40 cm from the mirror, where is the object placed? And the options are A. At 20 cm from the pole of the convex mirror B. At 40 cm from the pole of the convex mirror C. At 20 cm from the pole of the concave mirror and D. At 40 cm from the pole of the concave mirror And the correct answer is option D. At 40 cm from the pole of the concave mirror. As the magnification is 1 and image is rear, it is a concave mirror and object is placed at the center of curvature. Question number 19. Mira was standing in front of a magic mirror. She finds the image of her head bigger, the middle portion of her body of same size, and that of the legs smaller. The following is the order of combination of the magic mirror from the top. And the options are A. Plane, convex and concave. B. Convex, concave and plane. C. Concave, plane and convex. And D. Convex, plane and concave. And the correct answer is option C, 
concave, plane and convex. When close to magic mirror, a concave mirror forms an enlarged image. Plane mirror a same sized image and a convex mirror forms a diminished image. Question 20. An object 20 cm from a spherical mirror give rise to a virtual image 15 cm behind the mirror. Determine the magnification of the image and the type of the mirror used. And the options are A. M equal to 0 0.75 concave mirror. B. M equal to minus 0 0.75 convex mirror. C. M equal to 3 by 4 concave mirror. And D. M equal to 3 by 4 convex mirror. And the correct answer is option D. M equals to 3 by 4 convex mirror. Using the formula of magnification, you can check M equal to 3 by 4 which indicates image is virtual, erect and diminished. Such an image can be obtained from a convex mirror. Hope you like our effort to make science a fun subject. Kindly like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching our channel. Learn and have fun. Don't forget to watch our recently uploaded videos.